Hi, my name is Deborah, and welcome to Upper RX exclusively at Lifetime Fitness. Are you ready to shred, refine, define, and build powerful, sexy, strong upper body? Then you're in the right class. Here in Upper RX, this is what you can expect. We're going to be doing a super short warm up, literally three to four minutes. That's it, guys. Then we go straight into our core training. We're going to do three tough abdominal exercises. We're going to execute them for 30 seconds each, and it's going to be a superset of three. So three exercises, 30 seconds each, three times through. Then we go into our strength set. This is where we focus on the big muscles of the chest and the back. Again, I will give you three exercises, and you will execute over 30 seconds, three times three. All right, your final one is the RX. That's the signature format here, and that's the meat and potatoes. We're gonna be doing four exercises for 45 seconds, four times through. It will include a power move, that's going to be using explosive speed and energy. Then we go into our basic move where we focus on one muscle group. Then we take it into the compound where we work two muscle groups at the same time. And then our core plus where we work the abdominals plus one other muscle group. This is rounded off with an exciting Metcon metabolic conditioning where we will be working for five minutes every minute on the minute and we're going to push your heart rate up into our anaerobic threshold, taking you into exercise post-oxygen consumption, which is a fancy term for afterburn. So you work hard in those five minutes and you will continue to burn fat for the next 24 to 48 hours, which sounds like a pretty good trade-off. So what do you need in the way of equipment? Well, I have a selection of dumbbells. I'm going to suggest you go as heavy as you like. This is not a musically-based class. So everything is on the timer. That means you can go really heavy and do less repetitions if you're looking for gains. Or if you're looking to lean and shred out, maybe you want to go with lighter resistance and more repetitions so it feels more like cardio. I have a heavily loaded barbell. If you don't have a barbell, don't worry. I'll show you modifications with the dumbbells throughout. I have a kettlebell for the Metcon today. I have a bench, on which we're going to be lying on the bench. So again, if you don't have a bench, don't worry. You can do the whole thing on the floor. And I have a mat for the abdominal work. So if you guys are feeling strong and ready to go, let's begin. All right, all right, guys. Let's just start with a little shoulder roll. Take it back and back. All we're doing is mobilizing through the shoulder. Now this is not a dance class. So all we're going to do is start to bring a little elbow in. That's it. How about a slightly bigger range of movement? As if you're doing a backstroke in the pool.
with a hip drop. All right? The second exercise, go with a heavy dumbbell. You're gonna do a double extension into a Russian twist, like this. Double extension, up, into a Russian twist. All right? Your final one, guys, to the lower abs. Making it up, you're gonna bring it all down to the side, and up, and to the other side. All right, guys? Three times through. 30 seconds. Take it down. Ready? And drop. So guys, you want to keep that flow low? More integration. Pull that leg up. Just five. So like I said, if that's too hard for you, lower the back. And just do basic stretches. Yeah. 
in your dumbbells. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to start with a wide-handed chest press. So if you've got a bar, you're going to take the hand all the way out to the place. The wider the hand, the harder it is. And we're going to work in the lower range, partial reps in the lower range, but we're going to keep maximum tension on muscle. So it's going to look like this, guys. Your bar wants to be down towards your sternum. Now, what I do is come halfway up and down, halfway up and down, halfway up and down, then all the way up and down. You want to avoid looking at the elbow at the top of the movement, guys. Keep it all in a pectoral muscle. This is not a joint exercise. The next one is a lap pullover. Again, I've got a very heavily loaded barbell. Now, I'm going to take the bar back behind my head and then using the lats, the triceps, and my abdominals, I'm going to pull that bar back up overhead. All right? The final one, we're going to hinge at the hip and we're going to do a wide hand, hand out to the face, bed over row, but again, we're going to do a partial rep. So we're going to do seven at the top of the movement. Again, keeping that tension on the muscle. All right, guys? Now, I just need to be able to see my timer when I'm lying down. So I'm just going to pick up my timer and put it right there. Three rounds, guys. After the first set, you'll have the opportunity to go heavier if you wish. So we're going to start with the chest press. Dumbbells, all that barbell. Hands as wide as you can, guys. Ready? Go. Halfway up and down. Halfway up and down. Keep that pressure building, then all the way up. Remember, when you go all the way up, it's going to be super tempting to lock out the elbow. Don't do it, guys. Keep the pressure building in the muscle. Now, you want to keep that lower back glued into the bench. Press the navel into the bench. Oh, that's getting hard. My arms are starting to tremble. That's a heavy load. Two. And hold there. All right, guys, take it up overhead. Now, let's get ready for your lat pullover. A little bend in the elbows. Let's go. Now, this one wants to be slow and control, guys. Now, what you're going to find, as that bar comes overhead, your lower back is going to want to come off the bench. So, again, you don't want that air time. So, as best as you can, crunch the abs into the bench as you bring that bar back overhead. So you're contracting into the lats. The little bend in the elbow means you're also bringing in the tricep and bring it up. One more, guys. Now, 30 seconds goes quick. And that's why your weight wants to be heavy enough that you're seriously, seriously challenged by the end of that 30 seconds. All right, guys, wide hand. You're going to hinge at the hip. Core engage, shoulder blades back. Back is long and strong. Partial reps. Ready? And three, two, one. Now go for seven. Seven, six. You got it. Every single time, guys, you want to bring that bar up to touch the wrist. And then all the way down. And again. All your weight is in the heels. You have a slight bend in the knee to help protect the back. One more, guys. Oh my gosh. That's a very heavy loaded bar for me. And release right there. Woo! Oh my gosh. Round one done. Two more rounds to go, you guys. So, if your weight wasn't heavy enough, now you want to take that opportunity to load more plates on the bar if you have them. Now this time I'm going to show you how to do the exact same movement with your dumbbells. So pick up your weapon, guys. We're going to start with that wide chest press. Three in the lower range. All right, guys, wide back. Lock that lower back into the bench. Start at 90 degrees. Now let's go. Halfway up and down, halfway up and down, and then all the way up. Again, halfway, 
That's it. So we're keeping the tension on the muscle. We're also starting to deprive the muscle of oxygen by working with this limited range of movement. You got it. You're not locking out the top, right? That's it. Okay.
roll out to our right row. The modification is that body saw on the elbow. If you're doing a body saw, guys, as far forward as you can, take it all the way off your shoulders, as far back as you can, take it all the way off the walls of the feet. Okay, this is it. We got this, guys. All right, strong back. Engage the core, head in line with the spine. Only to the point of maximum tension in the abs and no pain in the back. Five, six, seven. There you go. Into a right row. That's 